Hi friends, life insurance is one of the most important part of our financial planning. No wonder, the moment you start earning, your parents and relatives would suggest taking a life insurance, isn't it? But there is only one problem. While life insurance is certainly important, it is also one of the most missold financial product in India. Every year, many people in India are duped into a wrong life insurance product. The biggest reason is lack of awareness about life insurance. Majority of people don't know how to select the right life insurance. Hence, in this video, I've covered what exactly is life insurance and why it is important, various type of life insurance in India and how to select the best life insurance. All right, let's get started. To understand the importance of life insurance, let me take an example. Let's say you are in your 30s and you have a wife and kid and your wife is a homemaker. So you are the only bread earner in the family. Now let's say you have saved and invested rupees 10 lakhs so far for your kids future, your retirement and other financial goals. But let's be honest, life is very uncertain. So here is the hard truth. What if something happens to you one day? I know nobody likes to even imagine their death. But these days, due to unhealthy lifestyles, there have been many cases of untimely death. Especially during COVID, majority of us have lost our near and dear ones. While we can't control such events, what we can do is secure the financial life of our family. Because if anything happens to you, who will provide financial security to your wife and kids? Will rupees 10 lakh be enough? Who will provide education to your kid? And what if you have a home loan or car loan? Who will pay for the EMIs? Who will feed your family? And that's where the idea of life insurance has emerged where people pay an annual premium and in return, life insurance companies offer a fixed amount of money in case of an unfortunate event. Trust me friends, I've personally come across many such cases where families have lost the main owner of the family and that completely shattered the families both emotionally as well as financially. And that is the reason life insurance is a must. So that if anything happens to you tomorrow, at least you can secure the financial future of your family. Now there are thousands of insurance products out there. And unfortunately, insurance is one of the most missold financial product in our country. Majority of people do not even understand the various type of life insurance and how they work. As a result, majority of people end up taking wrong life insurance product. In fact, in many cases, the insurance agents end up selling the wrong life insurance product to people. So let us try to understand the different type of life insurance products and their key features. Although there are multiple insurance products, but there are mainly three types of life insurance currently sold in India. Term plan, endowment plan and ULIP plan. Let us try to understand each of these plans in detail. So term plan is the purest form of life insurance where you get a good life insurance coverage at a very nominal premium. For example, you can get a life cover of 1 crore rupees at as low as rupees 10,000 a year. The only catch is that there is no summer short on maturity. It means, let's say you take a term plan of 1 crore rupees till the age of 65. Now, if anything happens to you during this period, your family will get 1 crore rupees of summer short. However, if you survive till 65, then you won't get anything on maturity. Now, you might wonder, if there's no money on maturity, why should we take a term plan? I'll answer it shortly. First, let us look at what are endowment plans. So endowment plan is an insurance come investment product where you get both life coverage as well as fix some assured on maturity. That's a dual benefit. Sound interesting, right? No, it is because in endowment plans, you have to pay a very high annual premium. On top of that, the returns from endowment plans are also very low as it involves various commission, expenses, etc. Although endowment plans are highly pushed insurance products because they offer high commission to the insurance agent. Generally, the insurance agents sell you an endowment plan with a sum assured of let's say 5 lakh rupee or 10 lakh rupee or 20 lakh on maturity, not more than that. And for that, you need to pay a good amount of annual premium. Now just think about this. If tomorrow anything happens to you, will 5 lakh rupee or 10 lakh be enough to take care of your family? No, it is not. Your family can't survive with just 5 10 lakh rupee. And what if you have a loan of 40 lakh rupee? Your family will have to sell the home to pay the home loan EMI. So you need a cover of at least 1 crore rupees so that if tomorrow anything happens to you, your family will get 1 crore rupees and even if they keep this money in FD at let's say 5% interest, they'll get 5 lakh rupee per year to take care of their monthly expenses, kids education, EMI and so on. 
And if you go for an endowment plan with 1 crore rupees of coverage, the annual premium will rip you apart. It would be multiple times higher than the term plan premium. So basically endowment plans that looks very exciting with dual benefit of life insurance and investment is not good at any of them. It neither provide a good life coverage nor provide a good in return on investment. And hence I always say that do not mix insurance and investment. It is better to take a term plan to provide a security to your family in case of an unfortunate event and invest remaining money in investment options like mutual funds with right knowledge where you can fetch much better returns. Then third type of life insurance is ULIP that is unit link insurance plan which is also a very popular product among insurance agent. It is again an insurance come investment plan where it provides you with life insurance as well as offer you a fixed sum on maturity. The key difference between ULIP and endowment plan is that endowment plan offers you a guaranteed return on maturity whereas ULIP returns are not fixed. Although the insurance company claims that ULIP plan returns are higher than endowment plan. It is because in ULIP plan a part of your money is invested in stock market along with fixed instruments like bonds. Again the same question. Is it a good option? Well in most cases no. Only in few cases it would make sense. The major reason is high cost of ULIP plans. The insurance company charges a high commission and other expenses on ULIP plans. As a result your final returns are much lower than what you could get if you separately invest that money in instruments like direct mutual funds. Friends try to understand this. Many years ago in 80s and 90s life insurance was a great investment option. It would offer you life cover as well as fix some assured on maturity. Because during that time there were limited investment options. Moreover the knowledge about investment options was very limited. As a result there were many fraud cases and people would lose their money. Hence life insurance emerged as a great option where you can trust the company and invest your money. However today the entire investment landscape has changed. Today there are many investment options that have very low cost and offers much better returns. Hence you should never mix insurance and investment. Just take a term plan at very nominal cost and invest the remaining amount in other investment options like mutual funds. Now let us try to understand how you can select the best term plan. So the first thing that you should do is take a term plan at an early age. Do not delay it. The benefit of taking a term plan at an early age is that you end up paying a lower annual premium. If you delay taking a term plan and as your age increases the annual premium would increase. So better to take a term plan when you are young and disease free. Then second point you should consider before shortlisting a term plan is you should always look at the claim settlement ratio. Claim settlement ratio basically means out of 100 people that have claimed the insurance amount how many insurance claims are settled by the insurance company. For example if a company settles 98 claims out of 100 then its claim settlement ratio would be 98%. So higher the claim settlement ratio better it is. Then third point is how much term plan cover would be enough for your family. Now this would vary from family to family based on their monthly expenses. For example if a family has a monthly expense of let's say 50,000 rupee then a life cover of 1 crore rupees would be sufficient at current level. So let's say if you put that money in FD and expect 5-6% interest then you would earn 5-6 lakh per year on interest and that would be good enough to take care of your family expenses. However if you consider inflation 1 crore rupees would not be enough in the next 5, 10, 20 years as your monthly expenses would increase. In that case if you take a cover of 2 crore rupees then at 5-6% interest you will fetch 10-12 to 12 lakh rupee a year which should be good enough for your family. But there is a catch. What if you have a home loan or other EMIs? In that case you need to consider adding that amount in your cover. This is the reason I said that the insurance cover would vary from family to family and that's where I would suggest you speak with an expert who can guide you with your specific requirement. For example you can visit Ditto website and set up a free 30 minute call with their experts to get a personalized term plan for your family. Ditto team is trying to solve the problem of insurance mis-selling in our country by providing a genuine guidance without pushing any product. And the best part is that Ditto team never spam you with emails and calls. They also have a dedicated page where you can learn every aspect of term plan before shortlisting the right term plan. Then fourth point to consider while taking a term plan is the term plan duration that is how long you want to take the term plan. As I mentioned the entire idea of a term plan is to provide financial security to your family. 
So it's best to buy a term plan for a duration till the point your dependents are financially reliant on you. For most cases, this is between 60 to 70 years. By this point, your kids would have grown older and they won't be dependent on you. And by this time, you would have saved enough for your wife to live a financially comfortable life in case of an unfortunate event. Also the fact that after the age of 70, the term plan premium shoots up a lot. So let's say you have two options, a term plan of 1 crore till the age of 75 or term plan of 1.5 crore till the age of 65, both for the same premium. Now which one would be better? Obviously the term plan of 1.5 crore till 65 is better because if anything happens to you, your family will get a higher cover and after 65 there are high chances that the dependents would get settled down and they won't need the financial cover. And final point that you should remember is always take a term plan from a reputed insurance company. Term plan is something that you would take once in a life and that would continue for next 30, 40, 50 years. So you want to ensure that your insurance company sustain its business for the decades to come. Hence, make sure that you take a term plan from a reputed life insurance company. So in this video, we discussed what exactly is life insurance and why it is important for your family and why every person should take a life insurance. Then we discussed three types of life insurance, term plan, endowment plan and ULIP plan. As I mentioned, do not mix insurance and investment. Take a term plan which is the purest form of life insurance and invest remaining money in other better investment options. Finally, we discussed key points that you should keep in mind before buying a term plan. Make sure that you don't delay the term plan and buy it at an early age. Then always check the claim settlement ratio of life insurance company before shortlisting a term plan. Then make sure that you at least take a term plan of 1 crore rupees. Although the exact amount would vary from family to family. Finally, you should consider taking a term plan till the age of 60 to 70 years as beyond that, your annual premium will shoot up significantly. As I mentioned before, it is very complicated to read the terms and conditions of various life insurance policies and it would also vary from person to person. Hence, it is better to set up a free call with Ditto team and they can assist you with right term plan. I hope you all cover your families with a good term plan and secure their financial lives. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, do like and share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.